Hello and welcome. This is an introduction to enterprise risk management for managers and directors. The objective of this training is to help you understand the basics of enterprise risk management systems and how to design an ERM system that works or improve the effectiveness of an existing system. We will discuss the objectives of enterprise risk management or ERM, common problems with ERM systems, essential outputs of an ERM system and the critical elements in the design of an ERM system. A lot of traditional risk management has been based on ad hoc or unsystematic methods or approaches. You've experienced these before and they include relying on personal experience to determine how important individual risks are, relying on personal experience to determine appropriate controls and appropriate risk levels, relying on intuition or subjective uneducated opinions to determine how important risks are, thinking that insurance equals risk management, having an emergency response plan, that is, relying on reactive rather than proactive controls, complying with statutory requirements, Audits traditionally focus on if the rules are followed, doing what everyone else is doing, thinking that you can't get into too much trouble if you're doing what everyone else is doing. The objective of a risk management system should be to ensure that all significant risks to business objectives are identified, including strategic risks, operational risks and financial risks. Risks are prioritised based on size and resources are allocated to manage them appropriately. The best controls are selected and implemented to cost effectively reduce risks to acceptable levels. If a risk management system is to achieve these objectives, the system needs to produce some specific tangible outcomes. These tangible outcomes need to include 1. An up-to-date risk register 2. Risk action plans document the plans put in place to manage significant risks. 3. An effective risk management culture. 4. Appropriate management and board reports. The accumulation of all the previous outcomes should be accurate, concise and informative reports to help decision makers make the best decisions.